Hello grade 4 in C. Welcome back again to our video lesson in Science 4. We are now in quarter 3, week 3 and 4. The reference that I'm using is Science Wonder 4 and the page is 145. I'm your teacher, Marilu Isuelio, and our objective is to identify the different kinds of animals and their habitats. Please prepare the following ball pen and paper. And this is the sample worksheet that you may use. Our first topic is all about the animals and habitats. Most animals need a place to live in, they need shelters that protects them from the weather. The place where animals live is called their habitat. Animals choose habitats that can provide them food and shelter. These are the following habitat. First is the land or forest habitat. The second one is the desert habitat and the last one is the aquatic or water habitat. Let's discuss first the terrestrial animals and their habitats. Many animals live on wide land areas with different climates. They eat different kinds of plants that grow there. We have grassland. It consists of grasses and forage plants. These are excellent for cultivation. Next is savanna. It is a tropical grassland lying between equatorial tall grasses, bushes, and scattered trees. The animals that live there is zebras, giraffes, and buffaloes. Cheetah is the fastest animal that live on African savanna. Antelopes and the other plant-eating mammals live in savannas because they are considered fast hunters that capture their prey. The thick bushes and tall grasses of Africa are habitats of elephants, lions, jackals, and hyenas. Next is prairie. It is a rolling grassland that once covered the interior North America. It is the habitats of coyotes, prairie dogs, jack rabbits, and wolves. Next is forest. It is the areas of land that covered by trees. It is important for economic, environmental, and recreational uses. Habitats for birds, insects, and other animals. Trees provide food and shelter to animals that walk, run, fly, crawl, or swim. The Tropical Rainforest It is characterized by high levels of rainfall and humidity. The vast numbers of unique animals and bird species inhabit rainforest. It is a home to huge numbers of insects just like the driver or army ants that march along the wide and eat whatever they see. The African rainforest is a habitat of elephants, leopards, and gorillas. Monkeys like mandrills and parrots live in the top of the tree. 
the south the rainforest of southeast asia is a habitat of wildlife reptiles frogs and squirrels have developed web limbs that catch air and let them glide from one tree to another the orangutan is a large ape that lives on trees and found only in the forest of Borneo and Sumatra. The koala is also found in the forest of southern Australia. And the anaconda is a slither among the trees in South America. Tasmanian rainforests are the habitats of platypus. Tuatara, it is belonging to an ancient family of reptiles, lives only in the rainforest of New Zealand. And also the kakapu and kiwi, or the flightless birds, live in the rainforest of New Zealand. The next habitat is the desert. It is a dry barren places where the rain is rarely falls. It is a very dry hot place with high temperature. There are two types of deserts. The first is the cold desert. It includes the Antarctic polar ice cap and the barren waste of Greenland. The water is unavailable during most of the year because it is trapped in the form of ice. The second type of desert is the warm desert. The most known and largest warm desert in the whole world is called Sahara. Desert is a habitat of dromedary or camel, and the hams of camels reserves food so they can survive in a long time without food and water. A desert also is a habitat of fakes, lizards, kangaroos, rats, rattlesnakes, and scorpions. Sand grouse also live in desert. It is a bird that flies to find a water and soak its feathers to take water back to its family. Outback. It is a desert region in Australia. The kangaroos, wombats, wallabies, and bandicoots are found in that desert. Burrows. It is a hole made by rabbits, mice, and rats. Undergrounds. It is the habitats of colonies of ants, bees, and termites. In the cold desert, there is a North Pole. It is surrounded by a region known as Arctic. It includes the Arctic Oceans and the most Greenland cold polar regions. The animals that live in a cold desert are penguins and polar bears. Next, let's talk about the aquatic animals and their habitats. The cold oceans of the world are the homes of most seals. Oceans and seas are the habitats of whales, sharks, octopus, and various kinds of fishes. The coral reefs, its habitat is the warm ocean. And seashores is the habitats of many kinds of shellfish, barnacles, and limpets that stick firmly to the rocks. Gharial. It is a type of crocodile that found in the rivers of India. Mudskipper. It is a fish that can breathe air 
and live along warm and muddy shores of mangrove swamps. Hippopotamus wallowing in water or in the mud. Flamingo, it is found in the East African lakes. There is also a terrestrial and aquatic animals. So these animals that can live both in land and water. Just like turtles, crocodiles, alligators, hippopotamus, and frogs. For your activity, print pictures of animals and classify them according to their habitats. Five animals in each habitat and paste the pictures in one long band paper only. Our video lesson has ended. I hope you understand our lesson and See you to our next video.